The piano is an instrument which synthesizers have attempted to recreate since the very early days. Those early attempts weren't particularly convincing, whereas later attempts with modern multi-gigabyte sample libraries can recreate pretty much every nuance of an instrument which most people either don't have space for or can't afford. Sonic Atom's novel piano takes a slightly different tack. It gives you three interesting piano sounds which are available via Halley and Sonic SE, which anyone who uses Cubase will probably have installed, but it's free to download even if you're not a Cubase user. Let's take a look at it. So getting hold of Novel Piano is reasonably straightforward. First thing you'll need to do is to run the Steinberg Download Assistant, which you'll probably have if you've installed Cubase anytime recently, but if not, it's available from the page you originally saw earlier on in the video. And once you have it and you're signed in, which again, you'll need to do with authorizing your account, etc., you'll just be able to download it. But it's not where you might think, you'd probably think, oh, it's in Sounds and Loops. It's not, it's in VST Instruments and Plugins. And you have to scroll a fair way. But fortunately, they're in alphabetical order. So you can find Novel Piano, click on it there, and then press Download. And download that. Shouldn't take too long, depending on how fast your internet connection is. Now, of course, if you don't have Halley and Sonic SE installed, and that's free, so you don't need to own any Steinberg products to get hold of that, then you can download that and install that as well. But we're not going to cover that. We're just going to click this. Now, clicking open should open up the Steinberg Library Manager, as you see here. And we can see it says Library Registration. Leave all the defaults, so install to the default location and keep installation files, and then just click OK. And after a few seconds, you should see that it's been installed. So it says the sounds are registered successfully. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see Novel Piano is installed. And if we look at the details, it even shows us where it is. I'm on a Mac, it will be in a different location if you're on Windows, but you should see that installed. Once you've got that, you're all good. You can close the library manager and you can close the download assistant and then you can run Cubase or the DAW of your choice and have a look at Novel Piano. So here we are in Cubase with a Halley and Sonic SE3 set up in an instrument track and to start using Novel Piano it's fairly straightforward. You can just click where it says all instrument sets and then pick Novel Piano. That narrows it down to the three sounds which are available. So just going to click on the first one to load that up and then go to the edit page and we can see we've got a fairly limited selection of controls just bring that over so we see the full degree of oh nothing else no there's just the three controls so these are three usable in certain situations pianos obviously it's not going to be an enormous uh, perfectly multi-sampled grand piano sound particularly not for free those sound libraries are obviously available, but this is it's quite nice. I think this is quite useful. So we've got this initial sound. Quite a quiet atmospheric sound. Um, just a bit of tweaking we can do to it, so the release noise, if we turn this up, you'll hear the release sound as I release the keys. And if I bring that down. The character control is really uh, mostly a tone control. So if we just bring up this supervision, you'll see with the character turned all the way to the right. There's some high frequency present and you can see that happening when I do the release noise and with the character turned all the way to the left, you can see that top end is gone. So it may be doing other things, but it's certainly mostly acting as a tone control. And then there's the reverb mix control. Now the reverb on here is uh, certainly not a, a high fidelity reverb, but it's quite atmospheric. So if we turn this all the way up and play this, you'll hear what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
Now, this varies depending on the sound that you've got loaded up. So let's look at one of the others again. Go to Novel Piano here and let's load up the Novel Piano sound. So again, fairly dull sound. Here, if we turn up the release noise, you can hopefully hear that when I release the keys. And the character control does much the same as previously. So just brightening the sound up or dulling it down even more. So there I feel it's doing a little more than just the tone control. It seems to be affecting the, the dynamic playability of the sound as well. And once more, the reverb mix. So very mid-rangey, certainly not a, a hi-fi sound from that reverb. And now let's load up Scoring Piano the third of the three presets which are available. So we get much the same with that. Again, release noise. You know, it's particularly noticeable, I think, on this one. Uh, the character control, again, all the way to the right. And all the way to the left. So in this case, it's it's a little less severe than the, the novel piano sound. And finally, the reverb. Again, if we turn the reverb mix all the way up. I've lost count of the number of TV movies I've heard which have had that kind of a soundtrack to them and that kind of sound. So there you have it, Sonic Atom's novel piano. While it's not the Swiss Army knife do-it-all piano library, which you may need in a lot of situations, if this fits in with what you're doing, it's going to be perfect. And of course, you can't argue with the price. As ever, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.